joining us now to talk more about what is happening in Maine is Representative Jack Ducharme, a Republican from Maine. Representative Ducharme, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. So tell us, what is behind this push to put abortion into the state constitution there, especially since so-called abortion access dramatically expanded last summer, going from being banned at about 24 weeks to being allowed at any point if deemed medically necessary? Thank you very much, and thank you for having me on. Um, the lead up to this was talking about the governor's uh, quote as far as um, women's health care. I find it interesting that that when the governor was running for office, for re-election for office, that was about the same time that the Supreme Court decision was made. And in her re-election, she talked about making no change in Maine's abortion law. Since that time, we've had LD 1619, which basically enshrined in statute the single most permissive abortion law in the United States. It allows the killing of a baby right up until the moment of birth if they can get some a doctor to sign off on it. It's a horrible change from Maine's prior law, which was bad enough, but at least it limited late-term abortions. Yeah, Maine is going in the wrong direction, that is for sure. Uh, Democratic Senator Eloise Vitelli, who's a sponsor of LD 780, known as the Reproductive Rights Amendment, um, had said in part, quote, reproductive health is a fundamental human right and deserves the same level of protection as our other constitutionally protective rights. Um, Representative Ducharme, I want to get your thoughts on that comment. And also, how are pro-lifers responding to this bill? Well, um, responding to her comment, um, I, I guess my comment would be the same as how we're responding to this all the time. All life is precious. Abortion is the taking of one's life without their consent. And God said, thou shalt not kill. Um, it's interesting to note that while uh, Senator Vitelli is the, is the uh, sponsor of this bill, after Governor Mills was elected uh, as governor, uh, she hired a chief of staff, and her chief of staff's prior employment before he became the chief of staff was a director of advocacy for Planned Parenthood of Northern New England. Very interesting indeed. How much support does this bill have? You, do you think it's going to pass? And what can be done to prevent this culture of death that we're seeing here in Maine? Well, I, I think that one of the things about a constitutional amendment in the state of Maine is there's a fairly high bar uh, to change the Constitution. Um, this resolution will require a two-thirds vote uh, on the floor uh, of both houses, and the um, they don't have two-thirds vote unless they, uh, unless they have support from our side of the aisle. Um, we're pretty much 100% uh, uh, opposed to making this a constitutional amendment. Um, our caucus has stood uh, fairly strong on this issue, uh, and I, I think that getting a two-thirds vote uh, in the legislature will be a difficult lift. Uh, it's just one of those things we have to remember that elections have consequences, and this is one of the consequences. We get laws like this and we get attempts to do things like this. Well, Representative Sharm, thank you for coming on. Thank you for all you do. We're gonna stay on this and continue to follow this. God bless you. Thank you.